In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create your own video tutorials so that you can create your own online courses or online programs. So if you wanna learn how to do it, then stay tuned and watch this video. Hi, my name is Aurelius and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews and tutorials to help you scale your business with online tech. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss a thing. All right, so if you're looking to create your own online course or if you simply wanna share some educational or how-to material with your students, then I'm going to share the ins and outs and the step-by-step -step process to recording as well as the hardware and the software you need so that you can create your own video tutorials and then post them on your online platform. All right, let's first go through the hardware. Now, first of all, you don't need to spend a heap just to get started. What you can get started with is a simple webcam like this one here. This one's the Logitech C922, but this is more of the higher end in the webcam sort of space. You can get and get away with one that's about 50 bucks or so. It records in 1080p and does a great job of recording yourself and it also picks up audio. So in this video, I'm actually going to record myself and the screen at the same time. So that's where this webcam will come handy, but it is completely optional to record yourself. If you don't wanna be on camera, then all you need to do is just record the screen and that's it. The second piece of hardware that you may need is a microphone. Now, the one I'm using here is a Rode Procaster and that is coupled with a Scarlett Solo uh, by Focusrite. Again, you don't need to spend a heap on equipment, but this is what I like to use because it sounds a lot deeper and it sounds a lot richer when I'm recording my videos. You can pretty much find a low cost option for microphones on Amazon that will cost you, will set you back about a hundred bucks or so. I know a lot of creators use a Blue Yeti, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a professional USB microphone. So that's hardware. In terms of software, let's go on screen now and I'll show you which uh, software to use. The tool that you can use to record your screen and yourself at the same time, which is optional again, is Loom. Now there are alternatives and personally myself, what I use is ScreenFlow, it's for Mac, but there is a cost involved. If you're using Windows, you can use Camtasia. So if you're looking for a more professional software to use to record your screen recordings, then look at either ScreenFlow or Camtasia. But if you're just getting started and on a shoestring budget, then I recommend Loom. All right, let's get started with Loom. If you don't have a Loom account, simply go to get Loom for free. Now, there are a couple of options of installing Loom. You can either install it as a, an extension of your browser, or you can simply download it to your computer. And where it sits on your computer is on the corner here, we can see this Loom icon. This is on the Mac, of course. On Windows, I'm pretty sure it's similar in terms of the interface. But what you're going to need, of course, is to plug in your webcam if you're recording yourself and your microphone as well. You can record, of course, on your laptop or on your computer if it has a microphone. But if you are going to create a how-to or instructional video or videos, then I do recommend using something that's not built into your computer. The first thing you're going to wanna do is to select whether you're going to record your screen and camera screen only or just yourself, which is a cam only. Of course, you're looking to record your screen. So in this case, either choose screen only or screen and camera. I'm going to show you how to do it with screen and camera. The next thing, I'll, I'll just leave this where it says what you want to actually record. Just to backtrack a bit, if you are signing up for a free Loom account, you're only given five minutes of recording. So that's a caveat there. However, you can upgrade to their business plan, which gives you unlimited recording length, as you can see here. In addition, with an upgraded account, you can choose a custom size to record. With a free account, you're only given either full screen or window. And then when it comes to editing, you're not given an option to then uh, customize the dimensions of your video. So those are a couple of things to note before you go ahead and start recording using Loom. All right, let's get back to the settings. We've got recording settings. The camera, you wanna select your webcam or choose none. And then for the microphone, select your microphone. I'm just going to use the built-in microphone on my webcam. I can choose my microphone here, but currently I'm recording this entire video with this uh, microphone. So I'll just leave it as the default here with the C922. So first of all, open what you want to record. I'm going to open my presentation. So here's my presentation and you can open yours with whatever program you use, such as PowerPoint 
or Google's own slides. In this example, I'm using Canva and you can actually present and record on Canva using the present and record. But the only drawback is that you can't actually edit your video once it's recorded. But I've got this presentation that I did not long ago, so I'll use this as a demo. To start recording with Loom, all you need to do is hit the record button here where it says start recording. We can see it's got five minutes. So of course, what you are going to need is an idea and a plan of what you're actually going to talk about. So something like this, we've got an introduction, module one, two, three, whatever, and the conclusion. So if you're going to create some sort of online course with separate modules and separate components, then it's wise to actually outline what you're going to talk about in your videos. Before you hit start recording, what you're going to wanna do is select the window that you actually wanna record. So by selecting this option here, window, it'll give you all the windows that you have open so that you can actually select what you want to record. In this case, for me, the presentation is sitting here under uh, Google Chrome. So I'll click Google Chrome. Once that's started, it'll open up your webcam if you're recording yourself and I'll just adjust it so it looks more centered. And you can see me right here. Once you've got everything in position, ready to go, then you can click on start recording. So I'll click on start recording so that we can now then use this as a demo and I'll show you how to actually edit the video afterwards. So click on start recording and it'll start in three seconds, three, two, and one. In this video, you're going to learn how to build your first email list. So now I'm intentionally putting a pause so that you can see, and I can use this now to uh, then trim and then I'll then continue it on, but you'll see how I'll use this later on. All right, so who am I? I help entrepreneurs build and scale their business with online tech through my website and social media channels. All right, so now I'll end this video by clicking the stop button here, or I can either pause it so that it stops recording and then I can continue along later on. But in this case, I'm just going to now complete this and just say this is my introduction video. So let's now stop it. Once it's stopped, it'll then upload to Loom's server. It's recorded the raw video, and as you can see, if I play it back. In this video, you're going to learn how to build your first email list. What you can do next is trim bits that you may have stuffed up. So I did leave that uh, pause in between so that we can trim it. So let's go ahead and trim that off. Click on trim. And now we are in the editing uh, window. So we can start trimming by selecting where we actually want it trimmed. If we click on play. In this video, you're going That starts out great and then let's see where we actually need to trim. intentionally putting a pause. So you can so see there. Your first email list. So stop somewhere there and then we can start trimming by clicking on start trimming. And then using uh, these, I think they call it scrubbers so that we can uh, adjust it where we want. And then at the end point, I can select where I want it to end or where I want the uh, trim to end. And you can see, and I can use this now to uh, then trim and then I'll then continue it on, but you'll see how I'll use this later on. All right, so that's pretty good there. So I'll put it about 17 seconds and now I'll click on remove and that'll remove it. And if we play it from the start, in this video, you're going to learn how to build your first email. All right, so who am I? So you can see there, I, I cut off a bit too much. You can edit what you've already trimmed by simply dragging again. So I think I cut it off a bit too short. So let's go a bit and give it a bit more uh, space there. Uh, once you've done that, click on remove. And now that's all good to go. Let's play back and see how it goes now. In this video, you're going to learn how to build your first email list. All right, so who am I? So that's good enough there. And now once you're done with your trimming, you can click on publish changes. So it does take some time depending on how long your video is. In this case, my video was very short, so it's not taking very long. Now you can play it back, but once you're ready to actually download the video so that you can actually upload it to your own online learning platform, you can click on download. So if we download that, that'll make a copy to our computer. So here's the video file. We've got it in MP4 format. And of course you'll rename it to, let's say introduction. 
and then you repeat the same for the rest of your modules. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail in terms of where you actually upload your videos and what you use to actually share it with your students. But just very briefly, you can upload it to a YouTube account and then unlist it so that only those with the link can actually view your videos. You can also use vimeo.com and that allows you and gives you one extra layer of security where only certain domain names or URLs can embed your videos. In terms of what platform to use to have all your videos in one place in a central location, where your students log in to view your videos depends entirely on what your aim is and what your goal is with the online course. If you are trying to sell it, as opposed to just giving it away freely, then you might wanna consider platforms such as Udemy or even Teachable. I have another video where I talk about membership portals and platforms that you can use to host online courses. I'll link it up right here for you to check out. In that video, I go through a few platforms, but the two that may interest you are Kajabi and Kartra. Those two platforms allow you to create your offer pages, your sales funnels, host your online courses, and deliver your digital products all to your students or customers. So there we go. That's the fastest, easiest, and most cost-effective way to create your own online programs or online courses based on screen recordings or screen tutorials. If you got value from this video, by all means, hit that like button and subscribe below. Turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any future training. Thanks so much for watching. And in the meantime, be sure to watch these videos here.